drug use is part of our world. Many people are not able or willing to halt their drug use, and abstinence should not be a precondition for protecting their health and human rights. Harm reduction consists of policies, programs and practices that protect public health by reducing the adverse health, social and economic consequences of drug use. It benefits people who use drugs, their families and the wider community. Harm reduction intentionally works to minimise the harmful effects of drug use. Rather than simply ignoring or condemning them, it recognises that many factors contribute to drug-related risks, such as people's behaviour and choices the environment in which they use drugs, and the laws and policies designed to control drug use. It affirms people who use drugs as the primary agents of change in reducing harms of their drug use, and does not minimise or ignore the real and tragic dangers associated with drug use. There is an overwhelming body of evidence that harm reduction works, which has led the World Health Organization, the Joint UN Programme on HIV-AIDS, the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, and other international bodies to recommend comprehensive packages of clinical and community-based services for people who use drugs. It is important that services are as comprehensive and sustainable as possible and that they provide a combination of the following intervention programs. Needle and syringe programs promote the use of clean needles and syringes and reduce sharing of injection equipment. Opioid substitution therapy includes the most common medicines like methadone and buprenorphine. HIV and hepatitis testing and counselling helps managing the health of people who use drugs and helps them understand their role in preventing HIV transmission. Antiretroviral therapy can work very effectively for people who use drugs. Condom programmes for people who use drugs and their sexual partners, which decreases sexual transmission of HIV and other sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Sexual and reproductive health services includes contraception and family planning advice, prenatal care or STI diagnosis and treatment. Targeted information, education and communication helps increase and sustain positive change in drug use related behaviours. Prevention, vaccination, diagnosis and treatment for viral hepatitis, which is an important cause of disease burden among people who use drugs. Prevention, diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis, for which people who use drugs are at an increased risk. Opioid overdose management with naloxone, because drug overdoses are the leading cause of death among people who inject drugs. Psychosocial support to help with mental health issues, family difficulties, relationship problems and isolation. Livelihood development programmes to help them escape the cycle of poverty and drug use. It is important that these services are combined as comprehensively as possible. Individual services have very limited benefit on their own, which is why packaging these services, tailored to local needs, is essential.